Panun or Yevoko Yevokui Serpo Amen. Nations have armies, and armies have strategies. Some armies use the strategy of air superiority, while there are other armies that try to put their hope and trust on the number of missiles that they have. If we approach our Christian journey this way, Christians only have one strategy to use, and that is the theme of this weekend, always praying. Despite all the difficulties and the challenges that we face in our lives, Jesus exhorts and teaches us through the parable of the judge to always pray and not lose hope. In this parable of the judge, there was a widow who had a case. There was an injustice done to her and she goes to this notorious judge and presents her case to him. But this judge ignores her. This judge doesn't do justice to her. The widow continues to go to him, persists in her pleas until the day when the judge says, I had enough, I am going to do justice to her. Always praying. This is a strategy given to Christians to use in their lives. We must use this strategy of always praying in two fundamental ways. First, by praying against all kinds of injustices. In the parable of the judge, which is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 18, and in verse 3, we see that this widow takes her case against her opponent and goes to this judge. She faced an injustice. We all face injustices in our lives. You are probably a hard worker who didn't get a raise despite all the work that you do. Even though your peers and your colleagues in your workplace, they got the raise. This is an injustice. This past year, you probably had to go to court because of a case. And even though the justice was on your side, the judge probably sided with injustice and didn't do justice to you. This is an injustice. You are probably a student in the school who got bullied this past year. You probably never got invited by your friends to their parties, to their gatherings. You probably never thought about yourself as part of their group. This is an injustice. We all face injustices in our lives. Today, we are invited by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to present the cases, the cases of injustice done to us, to our Lord, to our God, who is the just judge. When we do that, God will surely listen to us. So the first thing then we learn is we must pray against all kinds of injustices and present our cases to God. The second thing that we learn when we try to use the strategy of always praying is that we must continue to pray despite the results. In verse 4 of this parable, we see that the widow never lost her hopes. She continued to go to this judge. She continued to be persistent. Even though he was ignoring her, she continued to go to him. And at the end, the judge said, I don't want to deal with this woman anymore, so I'm going to grant her justice. One of the difficulties that we face in our prayer lives is that we try to link, to tie our prayer with the result that we are expecting. We try to pray and then we expect an immediate response. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes we never get a response. 
or sometimes we get it, but at a different time. God has his own timing. God probably wants to teach us something when he doesn't respond at the time that we are expecting. God probably wants to teach you patience. God probably wants to show you his plan, which is totally different than what you are imagining all the time. What is important is to be consistent, to be like the widow in this parable, to not lose heart, to not lose hope, but to continue to pray. Do you know why? Because we believe that God is loyal, loyal to his words, loyal to his promises. What is our duty is to continue to pray, to be in a state of a prayer. And at the end, when the time comes according to God, whatever we want will be granted to us. My dear brothers and sisters, in this week, when we try to meditate on this parable of the judge, let us put in our schedules between three to five minutes a time of prayer if we do not pray every day. If we do so, let us continue to be persistent in our prayer. Let us try to remember all kinds of injustices done to us and present our case to God. Present them with the faith and with the persistence that God will listen to us in his time and grant us justice. God bless you all when you use this strategy of always praying. Amen.